Hello everyone, it's Krugal talking. Welcome to our Ragnarok PvP event. Today we are going to comment the semi-finals that took place on Friday. With me there are Nomad. Hello. Precise. Hello. Uh, Katekit. What's up? And Ksuba. Hey. So the teams playing the first round are uh, Chilled Grass and no name the chill grass team is the team of nomad with sindragosa the salida the Aini, the yop ayop and which one um the sacria Sacri. yeah so yeah there was a problem when i recorded the first fight so it starts a little bit late but i guess that's not a big <coughs> problem missing just the first turn of this round I think you just put down traps and cast it missed like every single thrum turn one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go creative. It's kind of it's kind of surprising to lose initiative as the Zadi team, but the thrum team like really outstacked. Yeah, this ram had like six thousand initiative, which was really cool, I guess. In this fight. What did he use? Wrestler. Yeah, I think wrestler. Probably. Mm -hmm. cool. But he also mispositioned, so I still got the triple in fact turn one. It's like just earthquake. And he also lagged as far as I know. He didn't move one MP. Yeah. Well, good turn one for you then. I got like full wave and in fact on three people. But you are kind of overextended because your Ayup and Shakri are not yet into position to immediately play. Yeah. How is the map kind of go in. The map was pretty fine to be honest. It's like kind of close. But it's not like I took a lot of damage turn one. But you yeah, only but tried to put this me. Pretty spread out. Yeah, too. Really optimal for Sadi. But well, I still got triple infect and rape turn one, so it was fine. Yeah, I suppose. Still as long as you get three people turn one, you're doing very well. Even with two, you're kind of doing well. Yeah, it's a regular setup for me in here. Yeah, just cast some buffs. Yeah, nothing special. Yeah. And yeah, to put you out of line of sight, otherwise free erosion. Yeah. Yeah, that was really a good play from the Amy. I think yeah, you will there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, else the other Satria could have just grabbed me across yeah, the map. Exactly. That was basically it was just dead. Plan to do it. <laughs> yeah, true. <clears throat> Playing as well in the fight, I just yeah, forgot. I had to yeah, yeah. You were in. Oh, I think she can still row with someone here. Yeah, oh. yeah, but yeah. I had, like, yeah. to move quite a lot. She spent almost all her AP to move, so she could only world once. And that's like yeah. not really a problem. And we also had a positioning, so the Ayo could just jump in and double world. Because the uh, Eka and the Sakria are next. Like next to the tree and in front of it. So it was yeah. like kind of easy to spot. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but... yeah. I'll go ahead. I think our first turn, the positioning was really, really bad. We gave really good area of effect. I mean, it was basically just a thrum mispositioning. Like, I can always get two people with earthquake, but because you want initiative, the thrum should have just stayed away from the earthquake. Yeah. yeah. This turn, I though. might have wanted to step forward one more step forward. You couldn't. There direction. are two people. No, he could walk forward. Where, from there? where he is right now. There are two people in front of him. He double e -loaded. Yeah, but he was one cell off. He did twice from range, but he uses Phalancer, so he could. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, true. For another Ebony stack, he should have moved stick. forward. It's true. Could have moved for the Ebony stack. Here's what the sack will do. I actually didn't watch these matches that like that well, so it's actually my first reaction to this. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of crying for sacrifice because I was scared <laughs> of the fight. So all I Sakura did was sacrifice me to one so I don't die. Like your team was really well composed with the sack and Yanni. Yeah. Very hard to Got break through. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, the Sacred could have went in here to hammer two people that are both eroded, but I guess keeping the Zadi alive is more important, because I would easily die here. But he could have sacrificed his sword as well, right? For additional help. But he's full life. Alright. And it doesn't heal LS anymore, so it only heals the Sacria, and he was smart HP. It's kind of better to use the sword to disrupt the Swamp turn. I still do a lot of damage here. Andy. I would have thought the Swamp swaps the eye up across the map here. So yeah. I wanted to wait the turn. Same I think yeah, he really, I think yeah, should have done it. Sword. So now I have two position names and I can just go ahead and Contagion and Wave. Yeah. Basically yeah, I have four, I have four people really infected. As well. Yeah. We were hitting quite a lot in this match and the uh, next ones as well. Did you use yeah. the same set you always use? or? I just use my normal set. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because we didn't have a Fekka. The damage was really cool. Yeah, I'm playing Stalag yeah. Shield as well. Like, mm -hmm. not the Earth style anymore. I just mage my set around that. So I got a bit more damage. Yeah, That was like a perfect stack. Because all three people were in the three AoE. So they all got raped like to zero MP. Because they didn't kill my tree, which is kind of also a mistake, I would say. I would always kill it. Yeah. And standing with the two next to it. Great class. This turn, Raju, he, he failed the second condensation. He, yeah, he yeah. should have done AoE, right? Yeah, he would yeah. have to do that. So also this turn of Any, I think he, you said to uh, that Any needed to block you after your loss. But in yeah. my opinion, he stood, he stood right, <clears throat> right next to you and the Eka has after and Raji has a uh, poison cave. So it was kind of like not a really good block or something. Because when he died here, right here he dies. Yeah, true. And this, you were still sacrificed, yeah, right? So now the yeah, was goes low and any dies as well. And he stands next to you, so he gets the poison as well. I wanted him to move one forward, like there. He doesn't get yeah. the poison. But he walked back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got no idea why he walked back. I pinned the cell in front of it. Because it was the easier block. Because the egg has, had no MP anyways. Yeah. Egg had zero. He had to stand one in front, because that was, uh, I think, Yowling is three range, right? Yowling yeah. is three, yeah. Oh, no, no. yeah, we no. use it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he couldn't heal the Satria if he used it, if the Indy stands one in front. Then it would only hit Indy and me, but didn't heal the Satria. Yeah. So yeah, that, miss, that step back was like kind of random, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. the Sentry is exposed here, so we just go to full hit. And the IOP Why? also counted his AP. Why is the uh, IOP using anti -X? Not sure. I mean, it's one of the strongest Agi weapons. Yeah, but I will yeah, probably use Dark Order. He got an Ebony off as well. Yeah. Just using spells. Uh, the thing is, he casted um, weapon skill, mm -hmm. and then he didn't have enough AP to uh, AP buff. Like if he just uh, weapons, he can AP buff, and uh, they need him, and then that Cetria is just dying. Yeah. yeah this was a yeah. big turn for you, Krogo. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of surprised. Nice AOE damage. Wasn't expecting it. He's getting kind of low. Why did you go 133 AP parry in this match? Because all they have is any Ripsa AP reduction. I The set has also 100 MP parry, so that's why I okay. got it. I think that makes sense. Like, I think Yanni plays Warsa, by the way, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah. What I can recall, yeah. Any plays full, full Wars. Zach's almost dead. Yeah. Like I kinda hoped our any lives here. Oh, I could have saved him, but well, no way for the, yeah. the damage. 
no. all played. Yeah, that was very. Yeah, it was a nice turn. Yeah, but we can easily trade because it's low as fuck. So I just take the kill. Yeah, the trade was nice, but it's still sparking. Yeah, yeah, it's sparking here. So I had to kill and couldn't reinfect. Which is kind of sad because I still have the tree alive. I had to finish. And from there on, I think the I 3v3 is stronger because I have full infect and all of them are kind of low as well. Yeah, yeah. and I yeah, would yeah. say Kree are just really strong. In yeah, they are also almost full health. I mean, Cetria is like in state 5, but Cetria is so tanky. Mm -hmm. True. I don't know, I don't know why he, she shielded here. Just like the Zekri would never be the focus, I think. Because like it's the like shield... the most tanky class. Yeah, like this, putting the shield and rushing yourself is like not like the best choice here, but yeah. Because it lowers the damage as well on the next yeah. turn. I can yeah, also stack 90 AP though. berry here. Feels kind of wasted stats. Yeah, too. Hmm. Like I barely use the med doll. Yeah. But any is focused on hitting. You didn't have to use it really in this fight. Yeah. He was a close troll. You were thinking if he goes on the uh, swamp to try to kill him, but I think our Sekria would have died. So we made the troll to jump and just try to full save our Sekria. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. might have been able to just jump to Sekria and then grip or duel with erosion, double erosion. Or did he have yeah. uh, minus AP from precipitation? I couldn't see. No, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't, because he didn't use AP, because he <laughs> miscounted the turn before. Mm. I mean, yeah, he could have just cast a grip. The Sekret can still move, like it's not doing gravity. Yeah. Well, the Sekret could have just casted something projection and then still go. Yeah, that's like Sekret probably. Waste, though. But yeah, I mean, we just didn't oh, want to risk it. Yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah. That's just yeah. GG. Yeah. 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 Now the sacrifice is over because I can't take extra damage anymore. Yeah, yeah. recast of blood pact. That was the right call. I think Eka has like 7% natural race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right yeah. Like it's really strong, but you know, the downside is camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, camera is really strong. Yeah. I think she also uses like minus crit rest, which also doesn't really help against the uh, hammer. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> At the moment the sacrifice is over, Sekria is almost unkillable. Like state 5 uses so much damage already. And I yeah, think this one also mispositioned here. Because he stays in my line of sight, yeah. so I can reinfect. So I'll just have the triple infection again and just kill the hacker. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully. So like from there the fight is just over. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was a clean fight, but only like the Aini killed himself. Yeah. The Aini exposed himself a bit, but like trading the Aini is fine. Like all our comp yeah. needs is the Zadi to live. But even if I sacrifice my entire team, the Zadi to live, we are doing fine. And that Ebony was kinda Random because he thought he still had Ivory on. So he tried to remove Ivory with lead by. Yeah. Well, there was no Ivory and he was on Ebony 5. He's new to PP, so... The only thing I had, like, the first and like, like, now he uses Zenit, but I think Zenit is way better if you didn't use any MP than Mentex. He didn't. Like... He didn't use any MP. Yeah. Like, the order of Mentex doesn't matter, and you have to cast Mentex before you give AP. Yeah, I know, but <clears throat> like the previous, like the previous uh, uh, round he had, he used Mentex, and he used... He wanted to use skills. both. He wanted to use both. He wanted to Mentex, then AP buff, then the need, but he miscounted. Oh, yeah, okay. And the Sekri, I had to kinda try to save the Thrum here. I mean, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it was kinda done already, so... <laughs> But if the Thramlord gets another turn, he maybe can kill the Sekria. Like this, he just dies. I mean, he doesn't even play Yahash anymore in his initiative set. So he's a bit more tanky in CC. Well, he's well, like 10% resistance. Yeah. 
And nothing that can tank against a state 5 strength set we are in your face. True. Oh, GG. Yeah. You have the perfect comp to uh, keep you alive, though, with any yeah. Raja and a tanky uh, agility eye up and a yeah. secret. <clears throat> this comp is like it was made around Zadi. And it's like for this matchup, all we need is a Zadi to live because no Fekka or the Z and no healing, kinda. Like, except that bit that Eka does. So, like, all the damage stages, and when you hit four people, like, one to two K a turn, it stages over time. Just doing some damage for fun, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and this team really had no like real support <clears throat> in this team. That's yeah. bad luck of the draft. Uh... I mean, he wanted to play with Sophie, so he first picked the Eka. Yeah. It doesn't result in optimal team comps, I guess, because there were like still Oza Fodders available. Mm -hmm. Fox as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, they came kind of far. Yeah, yeah they did come. And yeah, they can still good. get third in the next yeah. match against the other team. That we don't spoil on now. It <laughs> <laughs> was a good fight though. <clears throat> yeah. but this is like the perfect Zadi map. We also stacked more initiative because we really wanted to win Eni here for the triple infect. And there we still lost the initiative. <laughs> Like, we stacked to a thin 3.8k average and we still lost. And we were like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Yeah. Like anyone's key. Superman. Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, also Strange Satria kind of starts to stack. I think he even used initiative trophy. And he still yeah. got to like 2.6k <laughs> only. It's, it's a walking perk. Let's, let's admit. Yeah. But it hits 2k on Hamas. Yeah. yeah. We used a Molly on our sack. He yeah. can stack like 3k. I mean, I'm still getting the triple infect on, but I kind of have to walk in for that because now I need to walk to the right. And that is kind of random because I know there are two mail traps around. And I just walked into the first one right now. So I'm like almost dying turn one because I had to run to the right. But here yeah. I'm eating one for 1.1k. I'm also in a terrible position. Yeah, the uh, attack and grab you. Like this turn one was kind of failed. Just three in fact doesn't help you if you just die. <laughs> yeah, you lost like your pride deck turn one. Yeah, just to the trap almost. No, and here comes another trap. Yeah. Another one k, like one point two k. Like, I was way too exposed than one. I should have just taken like one or two infects and then just run away. Because Mist also offers them safety, because we like don't know exactly where the Sacria is. Oh, so there's like not a lot we can do here. Then you can reach you. That's yeah. clear. Yeah, it was also, also a small map for the two stackers to like move you around. Yeah. Close up. Like, super close to us. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, Eka's turn. Let's see what she will do. Like, the only thing is hard to, like, see something because you can't see something in the mist as well in the, in the mist when the yeah. same plays. So that's a little bit annoying. You also <laughs> just have to play a guessing game, kind of. Yeah. Just like in 5v5. If you don't yeah. find anyone, you're just kind of wasting your turns. Yeah, it's really annoying, this. It's, it's like the Sakura only moved like one cell after his turn, so we were thinking we can easily find him. So I was just trying to find Raji because he also has no protect. Yeah, I was confused about his turn, though. Yeah, he forgot to equip it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, we didn't see that the Satria moved himself with the sword, so he wasn't on the post where we thought he is. So our Alp is just basically wasting his entire turn, because we have no idea where the Satria is. 
Uh, Saka yeah, well. couldn't move himself with the sword actually because it's the other sword. Oh, then we ha then we just just totally won because we had no idea where the Sakri is. We were like sure he's on one of the cells around the eye up here. Mm -hmm. He's actually like one up. Yeah, I remember watching this and I was like so confused at that point. Like, what is he doing? But yeah. Makes sense now. We thought we knew where the Sakria is, but well, I guess we didn't. Oh. Here, I I you take. thank you, but you have way too much um, touch. Yeah, yeah, you can't lock Razadi. Yeah. Well, you can try. Well, yeah. But Zadi has like 160 dodge or something, probably even more. Yeah. So you need plus 90 lock. <clears throat> Here, Sakria just tries to condensation people out. Or pretty he, also well. grabbed, he also grabbed our IOP so he can sacrifice turn one. Because if he sacrifices the IOP as well, he just dies. Yeah. And the main problem is we don't have any erosion on here. So hitting is kind of pointless. Oh, but another thing. Yeah. Yeah, too, but if you lose like the IOP erosion turn. It's like pretty screwed because you really need erosion on the Pritech meta. Yeah, true. Or just, or just draw damage. Yeah. I'm gonna sound for the Annie. Sending the lowest mobility class away because Annie is just. Yeah. Like a true, can only run. Yeah. This spell he has is Rallyan to move two more. Not just another single movement spell. Yeah, and he's just a pouch for MP, let's be honest. Yeah, it casts some buffs. Yeah. And like that, <laughs> that thrum hurts really hard. Yeah. It's basically just one map, still 8 1k with only one ally around. Yeah, really strong thrum. Like, I have the perfect 4 infection here. But well, I'm already at 2.5k HP. Yeah. So I can't really full wave or full hit because I need to heal up a bit. But on Pritates, I'm not even healing. But that that is also kind of low already, so he just hurts. Yeah. I think that full sure, would you shoot yourself? What do you mean? If you were him, would you shoot, shoot yourself? I wouldn't shield turn two, to be honest. It's like not really worth it. Yeah, but it's really low. Yeah, but yeah, but six hundred shield is not really making a difference. You really want to keep yeah. that one turn more, and he used. Of that Lee resistance, so he doesn't get hit by the Setri as much. Yeah. And by the IOP. Because Thorn Crown also gives 25% melee resistance, so that makes it kind of tanky. Yeah, it's more him to use that. Yeah, versus two melee classes. Not a bad call. Even though IOP can hit just as well from range. Yeah. Uh, he uses Fallen Answer, so now. Penalty for using ranged or CC yep. attacks. But the Ini just tried his best to heal me for as much as he could. Yeah. Can't really go back right. Yeah. Yeah, this, yaw this yawling position was also perfect for the echo. Yeah. They were perfectly stacked to heal the Sacria. Yeah. yeah. Does he use uh, the Crafting Cape here still? Yeah, he's full stacked on legendary items. I think he used the belt, like Servitude Belt, Corruption Cape, and Crocobo. Oh yeah, like then you got a lot of poison on you as well then. Yeah. <clears throat> We're doing everything again to just keep me alive. Like, it's not really enough when you're already so low. Did he have uh, shield? Yeah. Yeah, he also shields. Yeah. But the order then... of this is kind of rare because he loses power right now. Yeah, he yeah. had to erode the Sacria first and then shield me. Yeah. Shield you on the last uh, APs. But like we weren't <laughs> sure which Sacria to focus. So we just, we just walked first to make sure he doesn't miss that. 
Here I just wanted to put Ebony on here, so couldn't really do much. He was tanking me. Yeah. And also the problem is that the mist is there again. So you can just hide after your turn, now you're awarded. It's just like such a broken spell when you don't have enough MP to just check for people. Yeah. Let's see what the uh, sack will do. He's tanked, so yeah, just sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice. Yeah. Or I call to make. Yeah, and then he just tries to find Uga because he's eroded. So it's just basically random walking around in best. Yeah, but it's like looking for a needle in a haystack, it's... Yeah, he found someone, but it's like only the Ekka. And now the Ekka gets... Yeah. And she still had full shields from Pyatek, so it basically did nothing. Yeah, I just lose HP. Yeah. Using Gash. Pretty close, but the one run. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't he like just go went for the other sack here because he's not that high as well? Yeah, but he had Thorn Crown on. Oh yeah. So he would have damaged <clears throat> me and himself. And he also had melee with resistance. So it's like not really good for Chris. Okay. Probably the IOP should have went for the other Tetri as well. And this trap just hurt. Yeah, it's around like 3k. Actually, almost one shot our Tetria. And from there oh, on, shit. the fight is just over. Yeah. I still have the 4 infection going, doing some decent damage, but like it's never enough to kill the Tetria. I tried my best to get him to 0 MP to keep our Sekri alive because you can see it in the picture here, but he's like at 1k HP, HP because the Serum almost one shot. So that Sekri just gets the double kill probably. Yeah, it's kinda sad I couldn't, I didn't remember to move the panel there with the icons. Yeah, but he's like only stayed 4 but low as fuck. Because also, suffering is kinda bugged, it only updates on your own turn. Okay, he was only at 50 HP, actually. Yeah. The Thrum almost 100 to 0 him, with two traps. That's what we call balance. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> and That's then he just gets a double kill. Yeah, at this point it's over. Yeah, it's totally over. Don't try, but the blood attack is a bit random. Because you can all, only updates on your own turn, so you can like be state 1 with 50 HP and then just get into state 10 on your own turn. So you can just die without a damage, damage reduction ever popping in. Makes it easier to kill them. Yeah. If you blitz them in one turn, but it's also random if they get healed in their turn, like they get to state 10, then get full healed, they are. Still gonna stay in state 10 until it changes in their turn. They have like the super tanky Zetria on max HP. Which also yeah. makes kinda no sense. Yeah, it's broken. <laughs> it's definitely broken. But usually it works against you. As you're yeah, just getting low on the other turns. Yeah. Like, I can't do something, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also, don't know if the blood pet arts or whatever, or if they are intentional, that you die. If you recast it below the HP bar, yeah, I don't know. Because I don't know. I it think it's supposed. I don't know if it's, it's it is intentionally, but I don't know. It's still a little bit weird. I've lost some colors because of that. <laughs> yeah, I just killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> it also looks like so bad when you do it. Yeah, and <laughs> you're just gone. I did some uh, decent damage though. Yeah, but like, there's no way anyone yeah, dies. No, yeah. But like, from Game there on, the fight is just stalling. Yeah. But I kind of noticed that in 4v4, like, the first team against the kill wins. It's like, it takes 20 minutes to get one kill, usually. That yeah, was a big kill. Yeah. yeah. It was quite a road again. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, but I think in 4v4 it's not as bad as in 3v3. Like, you can easily win 3v4 as well. Yeah, true, true, true. Just like, for example, the any whips are died. I mean, we just got the trade kill in the same turn. But it's, like, possible to come back from a first death. Yeah, that's true, but it takes a lot of time to kill one, but once the first pawn falls... Yeah. yeah, then you just snow well. But I kind of like the format. It's like a bit different to the usual colo 3v3 stuff. That's yeah, really fun. Like some team comps that aren't that meta, per se, don't yeah. really affect them. I mean, that's based on the draft system, kind of, that we had in this tournament. Yeah, true. So people couldn't choose their team, they were just drafted in. The draft system would have been real perfect if we had more support players. Yeah, it was I kind of said that we only have two any Whipsa players. But well, who wants to play any Whipsa? Like, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> in Whipsa, it will be like two meta, it's same teams. Like, everyone has an any and then adds erosion and its utility and it's done. Yeah, so true. I kind of like it. Yeah. I kind of enjoy playing support Thekka with a uh, Fallen or Neo weapon. Yeah. Quite fun. The people have to you get could have done that. Fire Dial. Fire Dial oh. with your weapon is really cheese. Yeah. And you can also do that on Eka, for example. Like, if you don't have the classic in Ewipsa or Oza or something, you just have to get creative. Yeah, I. The port like, Eka. Eka. Fighter, like, with this is another thing. Need to do, like, needs to change their. Like, yeah, like, uh, Suba played the uh, Infecta, but the. Um, the healing factor, sorry, and the Eka here could also play like a heal want or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's doing a Yowling anyway, so yeah. she already kind of took the support role on her. Yeah, like the int factor is not really needed to like put a heal uh, weapon on it because it has so many heal spells. Yeah, and also it works so perfectly Eka. with the uh, poison uh, sector. Yeah, Eka, sorry. Yeah. That's what and we were thinking with the poison exactly. Like the support in Eka already is really strong. We wanted to uh, complement it by using a uh, weapon, like a lot of resistance. Worked decently, I'd say, but it's fun to do. Fun little experiment. But of course, use it in a group stage, not in the playoffs. <laughs> The corruption cape is like also super broken like that. I have just took like 1k poison damage last turn. Yeah. Like 400 of those were only the corruption cape. So I'm kind of glad it will receive a nerf next patch. I think that's well deserved. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> and oh, the stats on corruption uh, cape also uh, really don't punish you because you get range resistance. <laughs> so it negates the, the minus range resistance from Crocobear. They go well, yeah. so, uh, they go well so, uh, together. Like, this map is so disgustingly yeah, bad. It's, really mm -hmm. bad. it's so easy to drag people across the map, so we knew we had to win initiative here, because else the map is just over. I just borrowed St. Hayden, my set, like the chance that we are set, and we had like 5k initiative as well. Which was like our only way to win initiative, it seems. How yeah. much did you have? How much any? Our team. On average, I mean. we had like 4.3k or something. Oh, dang. Like we were full stacked. And like the map sucks so hard, I can't even double infect on this map. So I just cast some dolls to annoy them because, like, the Sacri had zero AP Perry. Yeah, the that Swamp was only had 33. So I just tried to deny their first turns. Like, Great. it was kind of obvious the map doll is not gonna stay alive to give me the triple infect. But it's still yeah, annoying. But it's done its job. Let's see if the uh, spam can work some magic here. I think you only cast like two traps. That's all he needs. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I would say that this map is equally bad for both sides. Yeah, it sucks yeah, for both true. sides. But if we lost the initiative here, like, it would have sucked way more for us. Because you can drag people across the map with Satrias. Yeah. There was like no really safe spot. Yeah, he just tried to find Swam here, because if, if he finds the Swam, we just win the fight, I think. If you can drag him out. Because you can't hide 
until all of our team played. But he dragged him against the wall, so at least we knew where the thrum is. Probably couldn't get him close. Because he's behind the block. Yeah. Yeah, but if if he like pulled him out, like the other circuit plays right after him, so I don't really think it will be. He could have probably just pulled him back. Yeah, so it wouldn't be like an easy win if he pulled he got pulled out because he, he gets he just gets in right away. Yeah, also, a Sakura forgot or well, <clears throat> not forgot, but had no AP to cast mutilation. So that kind of sucks. Also, it delays your shield turn. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, we know two positions here because um, Aji plays the servitude belt that attracts things and he attracted the sword from St. Hayden, so we knew where he was. So that's oh, yeah. kind of a good start to start into the mist with two known positions. And yeah, uh, Jack got surrounded here. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's a good target if they hit the Sacria. Because yeah, as long as Aji is safe. We are doing kind of fine. Yeah, she's boosting the uh, SRAM for those who nested. A little fortune. So yeah. he will do a lot of damage next turn. But double erosion on the sacred that hasn't yet cast that mutilation is quite painful. Yeah. yeah true. So yeah, we just went for the uh, sacred here. I think we kind of told our eye up to stay back and like just jump, double ward on range and run back. But well, he wanted to go in. He was feeling himself. Yeah. Also, this oh. turn he could have stepped one back for Ebony stack. Because it yeah, doesn't matter he, with his No, shield. no, he had to move the linear though, to me. So now I have a linear on the area and the thrum is right next to him, so I can contagion both of them. So it's okay. like easy triple in fact. Sadly, I don't, know, I don't think I walk in for Voodoo Trace here, because it would like be too ST. Uh, just go full wave for the turn. Yeah, this fight sadly, the SRAM didn't have any MP. Yeah, because it's like perfect the SRAM is next to the Sacria here. Because else I had no way to infect the SRAM. This was like easy contagion target, and then just full wave. Look at the damage you're doing on uh, the Ash issue though. It's like significantly higher than on Andy and... Uh... He has 10% uh... rest. It's the only yeah. downside of the full legendary set, you don't get any resistance. Because all the items don't have rest. He just has, he only has one MP, he can't really do much, even though the, the sack is here. Yeah. It was like really key. Also my annoying doll is still alive. So it keeps on raping them. In the first turn, no one walked into his traps oh. from Andy. Okay. There's still no idea idea where they are. Oh, surely around Anaripsa some uh, somewhere. Yeah, probably. I don't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we also had no idea where they were. <laughs> Here he just gets the easy pull out because we had the position of the Sacria. He's also reloaded already. And slash and edge really hurts. Like I love the set. High initiative, high base parries, <clears throat> high damage. Pretty good set. Yeah. yeah, true. I kind of dislike how condensation has no downside. There's no risk in using it. And it yeah. drags four or five cells. You can use it twice. It doesn't hurt allies. It's, yeah, it's uh, like an adjustment for your free AP. There's one trap, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like an overall, the Sekri is fucking busted, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also, that was like the perfect spot because he could lock the Sacria in, so he had to waste AP. And he's already like really low, 4k max HP. Yeah, we were yeah, just yeah. trying to bring the Sacria closer to the Zram. Yeah. But it was difficult. There's like no way he can hide and mist here, so we just keep his position. And also, if yeah. the Sacria stays like that, it can't really hurt the, the enemy. Yeah. Like our Sacria is still almost full life. Any just does the rest with the shield here. Yeah. I mean, Arashi could have wasted his ebony and done, done projection on sword and go into mist for safety. Yeah. Should have probably tried to hide here. 
Trust that he's not that tanky. Yeah, but he would have attracted uh, Sanhedrin still with the belt, so he would know his position. Yeah. So, I don't think it would have mattered. And he also barely had MP, so I think they just tried to go for the heal lane again with the all lane. Yeah, still good play. Yeah. Really shield here? Yeah, well, okay, well, uh, this was a good turn. Triple yeah. heal and shield. Because we knew that uh, Setria is full health here again. We made the call to just switch target to the swarm because he only had one MP. So he can't be far. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I have his 14 AP for all this. You know, a lot of yeah. damage here. And he also has like 9 MP, so he can just find the swarm by walking. Yeah. Because he only had to check three cells, and then he just goes to full hit. Like in my opinion here, like the weapon skill Mantic was useless as well. So I just fucking double erode and AP buff and send it and destructive ring or something, bro. Because now you only erode one. The main yeah, but Mantic is the main damage. Yeah, but he had seven yeah, MP to it use Zenit. Zenit is like way more damage if you have yeah, he both. MP. I think this turn was totally fine. Yeah, yeah but he only like used erode damage. once. Like, he could have like doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't have healing. But that boy is dying anyways. Yeah, he's yeah, dying, yeah. but it's only Ekka that can heal, but he already used all his spells almost. Yeah. Because he can't use all or nothing not again. So I think full hitting here is better than double rewarding. Mantats really hurts. Also, the weapon buff stays. I don't find it really worth to use 7 AP to use Mantax because he used weapon skill as well. Two times he used erosion, is anything destructive frame would have done more damage probably. Yeah, true. Yeah, and I'm also kind of happy that I got the sword here because else I would have uh, had to run in like only to Raji. Here I could just stay safe, cast Voodoo on the sword, yeah, and just uh, pull hit. Yeah, was to take your Bulbis off. But... Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, but if I get a target close, it's yeah, like yeah. so easy to just full hit. And when someone sacrifices, Zadi just shreds them. Like, I think I dealt 2.5k damage. Rugal here, just because he sacrificed. I think so, yeah. Quite some damage. And this does one MP, this is really a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to do here. Getting the Strum position turn 1 with the Contagion is like the best shit ever, because Strum was like out of the fight, basically. I think yeah, he didn't know how to put the damage yet. Yeah. This you was the best for your turn 2. And he just had to run because he's only... I mean, he's almost max HP, so I guess he could have stayed in. TC rolled so Sam is not really tanky. Yeah. And I think I but he'll hurt now. He just has the AoE on the sacrifice target. It's a charge Satria. He didn't even take the AoE. Yeah. He yeah. just tried to stay safe. Because he's also only at 1.4k HP. Pillowy kind of made sure that the Satria was like, no MP can't do anything. Yeah, he just can't do anything. Zero MP Satria feels so bad. Yeah. Such a shame. It was like the MP Wrapping Doll is alive since turn 1. It just minus 3 him as well. It's like yeah, so annoying if it stays alive. So far away from everyone. Yeah. And here just the double sacrifice, yeah. but like, that's not how it works. No, that's a little bit fucked up here. <laughs> because uh, just, Google yeah. dies still here. Yeah, just the uh, Google sacrifice the SRAM. Yeah. So if you hit the SRAM, he just takes the damage. The Inni just goes to hit the SRAM here. And heals 1 AP, 1.5k. For also a very balanced spell. Yeah. That's not that right. by the way. <laughs> it's not like the really after, matters. After 330 found it. Yeah. I guess at some point blue team should have looked to kill Conny, but it was too uh, far away. And it also didn't really matter. Nah, true. Like he should have probably lead pied the and the Conny just died to the poison. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's pretty really Parsons when we killed the bunny. Potentially like shouldn't we say... like uh, uh, lead by the SRAM here because IOP uh, goes after the SRAM here, right? But the SRAM has no ebony anyways. No ivory. Yeah, but I mean the, the, the any the any put his ebony on the Sacri in front of uh, IOP. So, I did, yeah. so when I saw IOP running to SRAM here right now, I was like, huh, why didn't you go for the other Sakura? Because he's like, because not is the target. Yeah. No, Stram is the target we want. Yeah, but I thought you, swore you would want to switch dark because uh, Annie put it leak by on the other Sakura. I mean, she, she just had two AP left, so. Yeah, but put she could have put Stram on the Stram. There's no way you could have killed Shrem before his turn, so probably would have been better to go for Raji to kill him before his turn. With uh, Raji is super annoying, he has sparkling. He's super tanky. I think Shrem is always the right call. The best lead play would have been on Ekka, to be honest, because Ekka got Wilbur's and Ocker buff. Damn, that damage though. Yeah, and Zadi just shreds here. Totally safe. I think I also got Wilbur's buff. Goal to keep on raping. Then get a free MP. And the Vite is just basically dead. He can only hit yeah. the eye up here, and that doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah no, I have so tanky. Because Valam's there without no really really much. Just too tanky. Yeah. He, our Sacria just pulled that Sacria away because he has like zero MP. So there's nothing you can do again. Peace across the map. We can't even swap because we used it before. Yeah. It's still on it was kind of random that aversion because he plays range shield. So the weapon would have done way more damage yeah. in range. <laughs> but he wanted to lock him. He should have just weaponed before. And well, here is basically almost dead. Swam is basically dead. Like any 100% can kill the Swam here. But from there on, the fight is just over because the Zadi is so safe. Yeah. I still and have yeah. all people I infected, will... I think. You have free, free line of hit, so you, have, yeah. you literally have four turns of just hitting and without getting hit yourself, so. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it made you win this game because otherwise you would have been killed, like, focus really hard. Yeah, like in game two. I just died turn two or turn three. And I took the Satria with me because you had to sacrifice me first. Yeah. And then got one shot by the Swam. Yeah, Swam hasn't really been able to do anything huge this game. Yeah. yeah. It was no, like one of so like actually without dragging the drum turn one, it was like super key to cast that second condensation. Because that way we knew the position of the drum and I could infect him turn one. Probably uh I died. Just look at this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This one. Here, Raji just dies before his turn. Ask it over. GG. And uh, congrats. Yeah, the, those were some nice fights, I say. Yeah, all yeah. three fights were like really close. Yeah, yeah. Fights. This, one, this one was just basically winning initiative. True. Get the. And from there on, it's like. Find it easy if they can't find a way to kill the Saudi. Because they full focused Asakria and he like still has 3k HP F turns later. Yeah. That weapon just slaps. Slash an axe. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like a hammer char on car. It can hit on range. Well, one of my favorite that. weapons.
Isn't that right, uh, Sam? One baguette left. Yeah, one baguette left. <laughs> yeah, probably. One baguette. Merde, merde. <laughs> <With that. laughs> yeah. yeah. Last man standing. Yeah. Or oh, woman. <laughs> well, the German is about to kill the baguette. Nothing new there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like yes, we repeat. Yeah. <laughs> History does have a tendency to repeat itself. Yep. I mean, Duel's still a nice three fights, so. though. Yeah. They were pretty close. Oh, we get nice to run, but. Like in this run. fight, it, it was the initiative win from Sadi was perfect because Sadi could have just like uh, stayed back without getting hit. And then he got he get, he could have easily like hit four times with four of us or something. It was like super key that I also got the sword on Google. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the turn I would have had to run in to actually deal damage. Mm -hmm. With the sword I could just run back again and just cast to do on it. If I only knew that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would it have changed anything if Grogo attracted you right into their team? I guess he had no MP to do that, but he could would attract it have me, but... anything. If he didn't cast the sword, I would have had to run like super close to the mist because I needed to get in five range of someone. It was basically Raji. And then they could have changed focus to me. Because I would be basically straight in their team. This is your game, right, Suba? Yeah. Versus uh our next team. It's my computer. Yes, so up until the second semi-final. First one was won by Shirt Grass here. Yep. It was like all the semi-finals and finals will be best of three. They're yeah, going to win two matches. Yeah. So we're playing the full annoying yeah. long yeah, AP HP. reduction set. Yeah, yeah, we knew we were going to do that. Italian comp versus the fucking Dutch comp. And that's why I didn't play Gravity Glyph. Just a spoiler. I didn't really get this first turn though because he puts uh, Hopper here like in line linear to the sector without removing him sense, many but... more or something because they will pull him plus the Hopper here right now and then he gets eroded by Ecker right now probably yeah and then you have like the advantage already in the first turn yeah I mean the set has like Hopper there is like a big 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 boy, big boy, uh, call or something at this point we knew okay we're gonna focus these Elor. So wrote him, um, do a lot of damage to him, try to roll him down a little bit so the upper can finish him. As you can't see it right now, but he has negative 20 pushback resistance and a hopper is pushing back. So with an Osa, a Zealor and a stack, he has a lot of abilities to stack runes and do a lot of damage to him. So that was our plan, turn one. I don't think that it was the right call to bring hopper in. Yeah, me too. Well, I kind of agree with it. He's playing last, but the positioning was a bit off. Like, yeah, but he has 5k HP and 2.5k shiny Piritek with like 30% yeah. or 25% Aures and melee resistance. So it's yeah, I mean, quite tanky. He only had two yeah. choices. Can either go for the Hopper or for the Sekria position. They could have grabbed the Echo Flip as well, but he played second. Yeah, true. He can't grab the Ekka that far. Like, he can put the Satria completely across the map at where the Red Vermin is right now. I think I would have mm -hmm. done that, to be honest. Because Satria isn't that mobile. Best he can do is, like, projection to move himself. Yeah. Our initiative order was this. so good here, I yeah. think. But honestly, as a Zealer, I would have just put the Satria out of the fight. Like, totally across the map. There's no way yeah. he gets entirely back. And then the actor has to make a choice. Like, does he rush in to get, get to the stack we are, or does he stay back? You kind of locked yourself here, uh, Andre. Yeah, my first thought was to spray, uh, to bring back the upper. Mm -hmm. but I just forgot that they have a sap as well. And yeah, that's what you do yeah. now. Ping pong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we're kind of focusing our uh, echo pretty hard. So maybe I guess it was the right him. call to instantly focus the echo flip. Yeah, it was a good call because he's kind of squishy. But at this point, I just jump in, ramp hard, 
to shield him. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Fully buffed. Can't really hit him. Yeah. Like the Tromp is also like really good versus uh, Zero Tromp. Yeah, true. The Kappa can also smash with like little AP. Yeah, he yeah. needs like 2 AP to kill someone. <laughs> yeah. Fetra offers like really good protection. Yeah, true. It really makes you uh, question who you're focusing. Right now, I have Fekka Shield the Echo. They all have Rampart. And their mistake, that's why was they did and switch target. Yeah. So you see, the damage they do is minimal. I honestly just had to swap to someone else here. Yeah. The Spectra Shield gives so much tankiness. Yeah. It's a really strong spell. Yeah. And the only way to unleash that is with the red dragon. Yeah. Standard hop and turn. And one. Big runes. Yeah, everyone is like stacked, so you can easily step some wounds. Yeah. Yeah, I feel they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Able to the fire rune. You hate to see it. Oh, I dislike AP reduction salary. So. Yeah. You also can stack against it. Like, it has like almost 200 AP reduction. Even if you stack 150 parry, you still lose. It's useless. It's useless. One AP uh, echo? Yeah. Basically, skip button. <laughs> but that trip, uh, like the Fekka swap thing, is like a really good position for him. Yeah, he, he ran here, I think. Also, the Zelo should have probably locked him. I guess he was scared for his own life, so he had to save himself. Yeah, it makes sense. He was eroded. Yeah. Uh, the, one. the set is disgustingly yeah. tanky, but it's like not that tanky. It has like 5.4k HP, I think. And around 30% yeah. res. But with erosion, you still die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has a good AoE here, but... Still goes for Yekka, even with Fekka Shield and Rampart. Yeah. That Fekka just makes your entire team disgustingly tanky. Yeah. Big class. Also, Oza has like a ton of small hits, but like a lot of those with all the summons. Yeah. Rampart is even better, what's it said? Yeah, but their poison negates my shields. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You'll see that later. But well, it summon just hits 85. Yeah. There you go. Lovely. Well, that kind of feels bad. Yeah, to be honest, the shooter switch target to uh, me or Gravel, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I think so too. Probably the Fetra because you already used Fetra Shield. Yeah. And what I would have yeah. done here is the Oza is repositioned the Red Wormling to double the spell summon. Probably the Echo. I guess he didn't want to dispel the erosion. Dispelling yeah. Rampart and Fetra Shield is still worth it. At this point, we uh, are going for a Z Lore. <laughs> At like 4.2k HP remaining because of erosion. Yeah. We tried to swap him, hit him, so our hope could finish him. It was also like a really good swap in a good position. Yeah, it was uh, well done. Ebony. Yeah. Also, the dial's almost dead, so they could have lost their AP buffs. But dice. Yeah, dial's really good, good spell. Yeah. Still seen him going for the sat for the Yeah, I mean, he has no other target. One is oh, six on a damage. Yeah. No yeah, one next. else has eroded, so it's kind of obvious he still goes for the hack at all. Yeah, I think they just had to do the double D spell with the dragon. Plus the lift yeah. for a turn before, so you can double D spell. It's like on the second turn, it's alive, it unlocks the second spell. 
and let the chest first and i have had to like focus someone else rather than the hacker yeah to just put the erosion on the secondary target yeah also really good ebony usage here actually in the i in melee oh yeah i was watching this i didn't understand why did it on flag yeah. instead of yeah. Uh, mage yeah not sure either it makes no sense on Hapa either though Hapa can just move with his wounds yeah but you'll see the next turn and that would have made a slight difference because now yeah. Hapa is just having like, a feast yeah, yeah but like it would have anyways yeah, yeah but he could have still like uh, pull him grip him and block his line of sight for the fire rune uh, switch but it would have still made a big difference because he's lost yeah. and he needs to use a fire spell and then he has no loss to put the fire spell as well and now it's just free loss to the run yeah, that's why he's just r.i.p z lore and now it's negative dead. push back rest kind of kill them and that's also the perfect position to push yeah, yeah. it's great <laughs> like, so you hit the, the uh, osa, osa z yeah. the toad and even a sack a bit yeah because the toad dies as well so that's like super annoying yeah and 2.4k on osimodas well he was four or five cells away from the wall yeah that's the class <laughs> yeah like push back up if you don't have anything to deny him it would have yeah. made a big difference though if he gave grip to uh upper mage yeah for this fight that might have even been worth to play the grip variant yeah oh, for sure gravity yeah because that just full denies the hopper Definitely. I think that would have been a good choice for that fight. Was the Hopper locked in CC with someone in gravity? Yeah, the best he can yeah. do is just repulsion the IAP once, and that's just a waste of all the wounds. <clears throat> I also think that this time the map was kind of in our favor. Because it yeah, it was. Map for us. Seller. Yeah. Because on the other fights that where is my computer did, the maps were kinda big and Zello all he had to do was to swap someone and give it as a meal to the Ayo. Yeah. Like in turn three or so the Ayo had sixteen AP or something. Yeah. And it was really easy to win that in big maps. And this map... Sonic composition is just really strong. Sandra, yeah, Osa, Cellar, and just I. They do want the swap. Yeah, it's not, no surprise why they've come so far. But I think like the next match, the I still plays Grip and not the uh, duo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they didn't change him yet. Still, it didn't change them, him. Probably no one realized. The variant might make it sense. was not a, a given thing that Hopper would play pushback again because I mean, well, Hopper can play anything, but the yeah, only but... real counter to Z, uh, to like the Z Lord Trump is pushback Hopper because you can just set up one turn and then you only need one AP, yeah, you have 3k damage, kind of. So I would always play pushback Hopper against that comp, yeah, also against the uh, Sekiro because of the sacrifice, yeah. And it also really gives you power. four easy runes, additional runes. The only thing they can do to stop it is uh, pillory, a duel. That's what yeah. I have to gobble, but that's about it. And for pillory, you need to be in state five, so you have to spam clobbering a lot before. Even yeah, get true. Yeah, you know, uh, everyone here. Let's be frank. At this point, I sorry, do uh, negate the eye a bit. We still at AP, creep him a bit. The snake is for us, so he wouldn't hit us. Yeah, I was really countered here. And I think the point where the Zelo dies, the fight is like really hard for them because the Zelo is like the main setup, the only AP buff, and he can full deny someone's turn. Sorry, I have to go for a for a bit. All right. No, that's fine. Couldn't you have done like excursion on your sacred and then 
include the echo flip in the uh, Aegis because he's the one getting hard focused. Yeah, and I'm sorry, good. Uh, but... I mean, so the turn was still really fine. Yeah. I think it wouldn't really matter because I would pull him in out anyway. Yeah. It's kind of like a hammer, to be honest. Yeah, that was weird. Like, when Hammerjaw doesn't crit, it's like not that scary. Yeah, but he has uh, elemental shields. So yeah. I think high resistance on the at the moment. Yeah, right now you see uh, the toads do a lot of damage. Poison. Yeah. But like the Hapa still had all the wounds. Yeah. You just... Catherine probably. So you can just always imprint for a ton of wounds. Yeah, Clash Ring is kinda broken. Yeah. yeah. He gets the other pushback AoE again. Like yeah. another one can damage. Fucking also is like six cells away from the wall, still took one K almost. <laughs> yeah. Like what the heck man. <laughs> At this point we knew the echo would die. So we all said, okay, forget lock, forget shields, just hit him. Yeah. And we had some slight miscommunication because he I was still at one point three K and the a sack was at two K I believe. And um and we went for the sack when we should have gone for the IA. But, yeah, I was probably the better for to see her. Yeah, true, but that's was the mistake we made. But like, it's not really the better for Chris because technically the Sacria can die before his turn here, and then the Iop also dies before his turn to the Fetra. Yeah, that's what you're gonna see. Yeah, so like, it's not actually a bad focus. That's it's not a bad focus, but because but killing a play order is like a good idea. Yeah. I also had some really sick AoE here, but like the fight is basically over. Like two of his and teammates Aegis, are almost dead and one is dead already. And the Ebony went on the Aegis because it's still alive. Yaka dies. Yeah. Now the uh, sack kills the Io. Uh, Sacker. Like if his team was a bit more healthy, the Oza would have carried here. Like with everyone almost dead, that makes no difference that you hit 3k in a turn. Yeah, true. And that uh, quick kill on the Zygor really did work because they weren't able to negate uh, me or I go in this case. Yeah, now just everyone dies. GG. Yeah. GG. Wanna kill the uh, yeah, yeah. Game over. Annoying Simmons locking you on everything when you're either int or strength build. Yeah. But so in the end, it turned out really well with the uh, Sacria Fortress because it cancelled both of the turns. Because they both died right in front of that turn. Like, it is the big advantage of playing the hopper. That pushback hopper is no, so you can still get runes when there's just one remaining. Yeah, still like six runes here. We, yeah. we don't have to focus the summons. And that's, you know, really strong. Like, 2k. And you even have to set up. It did like 2k every turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 6k when he did Sonic plus Osa. Yeah. yeah like 3k well. on. There's everyone here. Yeah, Pushback Hopper just hard carried by himself, basically. And well, the Fetra by keeping everyone alive so long. Yeah. This was another really nice AoE turn for Osa. Yeah. yeah. But here, Vampire is on already. And you just see how much damage it cancels. Yeah. Yeah, without her, but the everyone would take like 400 or something. 400, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, what could have Blue team, uh, team even done better? Yeah, probably not focus Fekka Shield Rampart. Yeah, or just yeah, focus yeah, on the debuff. Yeah, the debuff and the first and focus via probably. 
And also probably swap the set creator turn one. Because you try to swap them further while keeping Zelo safe. Because if you swap the Satria in, like the best the Satria can do is like condensation people. And like the only way to save himself is projection and run. So he can't get really far. So Satria swap is like always a good idea if you can transposition, because you can't do that turn one. Yeah, true. So he's like kinda stuck across the map. And can only pe pull people to himself. So it would have forced the entire team to rush. I think by just swapping the Satria on the completely other side of the map, they might have won it. Yeah, also put Sealer like in a safer spot because yeah. he was like already eroded to 4 point something K in the first turn. Yeah, because then he also couldn't get pulled in or like instantly eroded. The synchronization is such a nice spell. Yeah. This time they try to go for the Echo. Again. <laughs> like first time they went for the Hopper. Yeah. Like it's not far enough. Like I think he has to swap him behind the wall. Yeah, at this point he, he was just he doesn't able have to get back. Like I think you need to play AP Project and Zero to do that. You can swap behind the three bot there as well. You just need another desynchro trap. Or like yeah, but still, release, I can't like, can put the erosion here because he needs to focus on getting out alive. Yeah, true. So it's still kind of fine. Uh, the Zelo is in a terrible spot and they didn't get anyone. Yeah. Like the main comp is based around we grab someone with Zelo and just one shot him with IOP and Osa. And if that doesn't work out, like that comp is kind of screwed because IOP is so weak in strength build. Really don't like it. Yeah, I guess this comp works more or uh, better at long range maps. Yeah, you can just swap someone. I think if it went, like if it would go on map three, because they play the same maps as in the first semi final, Zelo Trump would be favored by a lot because yeah. that one is the only one. That's why I wanted to win this one. Yeah. And this is kind of a perfect map for pushback upper as well. A lot of yeah. areas that you can push against. In general, for the comp, because it's like so easy to rush on that map. I think on the third map, Zelo Comp almost gets a free win because you yeah. can just swap it the entire map. Yeah. yeah. With no one being able to like follow that fast. I also feel like I think if like uh, the Zelo here like waited his first turn and just like boosted up a little bit and reap in through walls, and then the second turn pull someone in far would be a better choice here because now he's getting fucked again. <laughs> yeah. He just put himself in a terrible position. Yeah, but. Pong. Zach is gonna get him back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like this it's just a waste of their turns. Like if Sonic if if Angelo waits or if Sonic waits here a turn and he can like boost AP himself for the second turn and then get some like really far in and then IOP is boosted as well. Like it would be a better choice than just get someone turn one and then get exposed yourself. At this point, the uh, our sack was getting pretty low. Yeah, right. uh, focus shield. I also get why they would try to separate the team because the full team rampart is just yeah. Two, two got three out. With. Yeah, but now automatically you would focus uh, Andrew there. But like Satria with factor shield and the space passive is like so disgusting and tangy. Yeah, and I really can't do it much here except for jump on sacred here probably i think john had to pull once more if he only pulled them once he could have stepped back and just double pull again just yeah, put them probably. really far back because then the factor also had to go in to trust factor yeah. shield you made the same mistake you did in the first fight focusing yeah. factor shield hop has a pretty good zone with uh yeah oh. he he still has the full wound stacking zone again. Yeah, exactly. He was, and uh, Zelo and Oza put out a lot of summons, so like pushback up is the perfect counter to that shit. Yeah, just had a was day. really happy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, six runes. First turn, that's a nice setup. Kinda sad, I forgot to change the chat channel. Oh, yeah, I see now. I mean, he tries to full whip the hopper here to stop the turn two one shot, but like the damage is already done. Trust yeah, he, he, out. he was telling us all I need was his free AP, and he had yeah. four or five, I believe. I'm not really sure, but all you kind of need is to imprint and we pop. Yeah. yeah, damage was done. Well, I think the better call was probably still to swap the Sacria across the map and just stay safe yourself. Yeah. Because if he swaps the Sacria, the Oza can dispel the Factor Shield. And then you maybe get a kill after the Sacria turn. Yeah, like, that's the, upper, the upper always full hits. But if you just put the Sacria in a really bad spot, I mean, you can always transposition. But whatever. You gotta do something. See what the Oza does. And she swaps fortress to the hopper here. Yeah. But hopper is like also disgustingly tanky. Yeah. The hopper has like the 15% melee resistance shield. He has over 5k vitality and good resistance all around and also critical resistances. Yeah, rampart. Yeah, and well, rampart as well. Like that boy is hard to kill. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So this is double dispel, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Double dispel. At this point, John was getting kind of low. Yeah. Then, and the uh, hub can finish. Kind of missed. I would have probably put the ebony here instead of using yeah. the shield. But I guess you were afraid of dying. I was getting kind of low, but switch focus. Yeah. And he still had Factor Shield. Yeah. That weapon just slaps. And yeah. only strong. Well, then comes the CC Shield to just cancel the eye up turn. Yeah. And from here on, it's yeah. basically over. Like, I feel like if he gripped here or dueled, it would still be fire, right? Because he had like 4 AP or something? Yeah, 4 AP. And I think he doesn't grip here, so... Kinda rip, yeah. He does, I Even think. if he gripped here, then he should have gone the other way. Because now... Now yeah, he just and if push 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 wanted, push. he could have just murdered Ayup here. Yeah, like, the Ayup is also kinda new to PvP. Yeah. So, I think he just doesn't know the optimal turn here. Because he tried to lock him, but like, that's not enough. Austin still had AP. Yeah, and he doesn't yeah. get him use free AP. Watch this. <laughs> like, if he gripped here, he would have denied the turn, because 4 AP is not enough to, like, put the cliff down and TP out. Yeah. All he had to do is just yeah. grip as well. Goodbye. If he grips, I think that's the way they come back here. Because yeah. Zedor can full wave the Echo Flip and then maybe the Petria stays alive for long enough because he can also heal him. But all he had to do is grip, kinda. Yeah, because then he couldn't have done Agility Polarity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could have, but he had no MP to run to the... Yeah, yeah but with the Gravity yeah. State one, he would have been... Yeah, yeah, gravity State one. I don't think you played the gravity variant again. No, true. Like even Grip was fine. I wanted to look into taking. Yeah, but gravity is fine as well. Like, like the non-gravity variant, just minus 100 MP him, and there's no way he reaches the. the no, true. Then he, pro Clint, probably would have just done it on 
Sonic, but Sonic but he had still had, uh, Shiny Bear attacked at that point still. Yeah, that would have been a wasted turn. Like, he would have just wasted all his wounds. Yeah, I feel like if he, like, gripped, just gripped Hopper, went to full hit uh, Sekiro, and also hits the Sekiro as well. And John that might win from there. Yeah. Then maybe Google would have died, or we close to death. And John also would John would have lived. Yeah. And if John gets another turn on, like, state 9, he just yeah. absolutely smashes someone, and can 1.2k shield himself. Yeah, so that would really hurt. That was like a kind of set misplay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that book also is really new to Osa. Yeah, but I mean, he does it. Apoke is decent, bro. He's fine. Yeah. I think the main problems here from Sonic's team were like just kind of bad target focusing. So they kept on going for the guy that had Factor Shield. And that Zachary is in general pretty tanky. They never dispelled the Factor Shield. Yeah, I, yeah, feel like it's, it's, yeah. I feel like it's the first turn, like put someone in, and the exposure was not a, a really good choice here, and the grip, of course, was a big one. Yeah. <clears throat> Like after the first one dies, they just don't have enough damage to kill Cetria that yeah. has Factor Shield. Definitely. Because like the set is the main damage. And he can just heal up here again. It's a really hard stay sits. You hate to see it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to take any risk this time. Yeah, sure. Like, from there on, the, you're already in a favorable position after John died. So it's like just smart to stay safe. Yeah. I mean, I've seen Rosa scary uh, games, even though their teammates died. So. Yeah. Yeah. Chance of uh, damage output is disgusting. Like, you um, can honestly hit, like, 2 or 3k consistently. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I have um, grab the hub at this point. And yeah, I, that's yeah, too late. Now it's too late, yeah. 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 He doesn't too late. have any runes. Yeah, it's also kind of too late and he didn't hit first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just just... Yeah. Now he can just switch the fucking eye up again to the wall and then he can just hit eye up as well. Or just go for someone else because he can still use the the fire rule. So it was indeed a kind of useless turn again. Yeah, but just look at the summons. He has one dragon, two yeah. toads, a free toad says four. Imprint. Yeah. And you know, he has like seven has six runes extra again. runes because runes. of the summon. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah. And he didn't even have to use any AP to move someone. Yeah. Yeah. And he's invulnerable for one turn now. Yeah. <laughs> for free. Synchro Ward. <laughs> oh, yeah, that Synchro is bound to hurt. Yeah, but. Yeah. But it's still. We're today. discussing killing it, but we just weren't able to. <laughs> no ups. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's just over because, yeah. Not yeah, really. Uh, Zelor still has two people. Uh, uh, Zelor is in a really good spot here, locking two people and just raping them. It's like really annoying. Yeah, yeah we tried to uh, kill the Synchro, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. Would have wrote something reviving John? I don't think so, right? No. Uh, it's just so much AP, and John only gets revived with like six, three, or something. Yeah. It's not really helpful. Might have made a difference. 
the main problem with the grip on the hopper that turn is that they can't keep on focusing him. Um, they have to level correct him. He basically did like 2.5k damage and he's invulnerable. Yeah. Like a win for us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that grip that turn like probably even helped you. Yeah, bit him in the ass. And he didn't even hit the mid -hand. grip first. <laughs> so yeah. I have okay. turns where these last two turns were pretty ripped. At this point, I um, just want to point out kind of bad positioning on the third and toad, but you'll see why later. Yeah, so I thought this turn you were gonna choke, not gonna lie. But <laughs> you did uh, nice. Yeah. Since uh, I think only one position where you would have lined up, so I think you did it correctly. I mean, the position where he uh, where he can hit it was fine, kind of easy to see, though. But... Yeah, but here I wouldn't weapon skill. I would instead hit the weapon, then projection, because Sam is locked, and Sam needs a backup target. So if you projection, you could give him a target to backup. True, but I don't think I had enough dodge to... Maybe I oh, no. don't know. You didn't need to dodge because you were di diagonal to him, so you just weapon and instead of weapon skill, you projection, ah, yeah. and then you add ledge to the hopper. Yeah, true. I'm thinking about the, yeah, then he could have backed up really. and could have killed. Yeah. I think. I think it's next turn where I thought you would. Yeah, same. Yeah, it's next turn, yeah. Yeah, you had like 6 AP right now? Yeah, 5 AP. And I didn't yeah. think it's right the eye up a bit of blindness. Like, pick up, pick up pie was a kill, I think. Excuse me? Pick up lead pie was a kill. If Endward would have went in the position for you. But it, like, doesn't really matter. Just the eye up can't kill here. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that vitality was also kind of wasted, I think. He On still dies. Eyes. see what the uh, upper does. Oh, this mm -hmm. turn was kind of scary. Yeah, but but here I thought he would get up, up by the toe. By the toe. Yeah. yeah. But the toe was 75 HP, I believe, so he had either the option to kill it or... This but was also fine. That manifestation was a lot of AP waste, but it's still fine. Yeah, yeah. that was a bit of a choke, but whatever. You can see a synchro. A lot of damage right now. Boom. Boom. Almost okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's a big synchro damage for sure, but it's his only damage output this whole game. Yeah, but he just nullifies the air constantly yeah. and do anything. Yeah. yeah. That was kind of clutch yeah. because, yeah, both of us, I was able to get away. Yeah, the Zello was doing an amazing job here. The only problem is that John died too early. Yeah. <laughs> if John is still alive here, they are fighting a 3v2. On top of the map, instead and, uh, of just knowing the two others. So, if you consider that, you might might want to have had to uh, revive Zack. It could have worked out well, but yeah, not sure. At this point, the OSS 1K, the IFS plus and thousand. Yeah, it was already quite done at this point. Yeah. I was able to kill him. Spoiler. Our stack dies at least. Yeah, some damage on. Uh, yep, he tries to block me with uh, both toads. But I still. Yeah, this is the turn where I thought you would mess up. Yeah, so I did. Uh... No, you didn't. I was happy to see that you did. <laughs> I'm surprised like that. He should have locked me, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if he put the toad, like, uh, behind the eye up here and let the green toad stand next to you, you couldn't reach him, I think, for... No lateral, I could have. He could have. Because oh, yeah, yeah. black toad on good. the black tile, I think. It would have yeah. kind of... Nah. 
Wait, so so was, for it being out of reach by a perception, that wouldn't like one letter wouldn't kill him. No, but no matter where he positions the green doll, he can always cover it and excursion div it. Yeah. Yeah. Because he still has diagonal. Game over. Yeah. I mean, even if if I uplift here, his damage would have wouldn't have really changed anything because he well, I wasn't in a position to kill Clint here. So and the game just ended the turn. John died. Yeah. And just lose at that fight. Yeah. Well, this was it. Thanks for being here with me and commenting it. And Welcome. Well, I wish good luck next week to the finalists, and maybe we see each other. On another commenting. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.